every, I know you don't go a week. You sometimes don't go a day without people asking you uh, about being a manager in the future in the major leagues. I know you get asked that a lot. Um, I know it's, uh, you, you don't know, you don't know what's going to happen uh, in two weeks, let alone what's going to happen next year, let alone what's going to happen in two years. Right. So it's hard to kind of wrap your, wrap your whole mind around it, but wrap your arms around it, if you will. But what, what is, uh, is that in you from, from a, an early age, as far as having those leadership qualities? Uh, and I know your goal someday, I think your dream someday is to manage a big league team. Uh, what are, what are those thoughts like, and where have those thoughts been like early on in your career? Um, it's always been in the back of my mind, right? Um, you know, you can go back to the, the a ball stuff where it's, I'm the third, third catcher. And I'm like, man, I could do this. I could coach, I could help guys. Um, you know, I've had injuries where I'm not able to play and instead of sulking and pouting, um, and worrying about how sorry I feel for myself, I always wanted to look for areas to make people around me better and, mm -hmm. I think it's, that's one of my gifts, honestly, one of my gifts is to be able to read people and to be able to see when people are down and to, to find the words quickly um, or to find the gesture quickly. It may, it may just be like a little, um, you know, a little like pat on the shoulder, or a little like quick little back rub, you know, just, just be like, how, when was the last time you got a massage? You know, when was the last time, you know, stuff like that. And uh, just to break the ice. And I think that's one of the gifts that I have is to be able to read people and, and to find the words. And so, um, and I've been fortunate to to be around such great baseball minds my whole life. I mean, my dad was a great, great baseball coach uh, for a long time in Visalia and my obviously Paul Sfagdis and then every manager I had coming up in the minor leagues. And, you know, even getting to play for Steve Carsoni, you know, and, and Dave Brundage, that the, those are two great managers that people in Sacramento got to watch manage. And then not to mention the the six great managers I've been fortunate to play for now in the major leagues. And they all have different styles that I've gotten to watch and see and learn from and kind of help me one day mold my managerial style, hopefully. Um, and then with whatever experience I get along the way between my playing career and, and coaching career, whatever that transition is going to look like, I have no idea, but um, it's definitely something as we sit here today that I would love to do. Um, you know, obviously that could change and, kids are getting older and their activities are starting to speed up and, and things like that. And so there's going to be, obviously it's going to be a long, a lot of conversations, but it's for sure something that I would like to do where we sit today. And um, I, I couldn't be, I couldn't be more thankful for the experiences that I've gotten in this game and the people that I've met and interacted with. And most importantly, the people I've listened to, um, you know, I, I learned a long time ago that uh, if you want to learn it, just, you know, be, be quiet and listen, you might learn something. And, uh, uh, that's something I'm getting better at as I get older is uh, what, um, man, what is it? Oh, listening, listening to learn rather than listening to respond. And Love that's that. something that's, uh, that's something that um, I try to be very intentional with as much as I can. Thank you for listening to the Rivercats Nine Lives podcast hosted by Johnny Dosco. Please like, subscribe, and share with all your baseball-loving friends. And make sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook.